What's going on, y'all? So we are going to be trying this Torkoal Slowbro team. Now, originally I had built a version of this team with Muck on it, but, you know, it just turns out Muck's not good. Sorry, Muck. I tried. <laughs> I, I played three matches, maybe four, I don't remember, but we didn't win any of them. And, yeah, yeah, Muck just couldn't do anything, so... We had to take Muck off the team for Iron Jugulus, aka Buster Scrugulus. And there's ups and downs of Iron Jugulus. I am running Air Cutter, which I think you could definitely replace for Air Slash. Um, maybe Scope Lens Iron Jugulus could be good, right? I think that could actually be a really interesting adaption to the team, so that's something to think about. Um, scope Lens Iron Jugulus. I mean, the booster energy is nice for if you're not going to lead Torkoal, so I do think there's that. But, um, yeah, we've got the Iron Jugulus with Fairy Terra. We've got a Covert Cloak Slowbro with Psychic Hydro Pump Flamethrower and Trick Room. Uh, so we've got two very, very good uh, Trick Room setters on this team, right? We have Mimikyu, which can take a guaranteed hit. Paired with Iron Hands, it's really good, but if your opponent has a Taunt user, you can start Slowbro, which can't get faked out because of Covert Cloak, can't get taunted because it's Slowbro, so there's that. Um, we've got Iron Hands with Assault Vest, originally I wanted a Swords Vance Iron Hands, but this is what we've got. We've got Mimikyu with the Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, Trick Room, Play Rock. Uh, Torkoal with the Fire Terror to do extra damage, and Charcoal. Um, eruption, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Protect. I do think Flamethrower is a good adoption over Heat Wave, but, you know, it's what we got. And then finally, we've got the Dark Terra Amoongus with Citrus Berry and Protect over Pollen Puff. So, good stuff. Um, we'll have to see. I do think that dropping Muck for Iron Jugulus is ultimately going to make the team better just because we're not, like, just trying to do muck things the whole time and <laughs> so we have not muck now and we're gonna try to run on a, a not muck but protosynthesis is not uh quark drive so we do have to remember that we actually do need the booster energy for buster scrupulous over here okay um they do have Trick Room, um, right, so like they can technically stop Trick Room. We... they do actually, they do have a hair across too, which is pretty funny. Cool stuff. Um, we could start this. I'm really not opposed to it. I like starting, like, Iron Hands Slowbro with... I mean, is Torkoal good here? It's not bad. <laughs> it's certainly not bad. Um, we just need to be really careful, right? So, like, we'll see what happens. I actually think we probably want to do this. If we're going to be trying to, like, hard commit to the Trick Room mode, right? Like, we need to make sure we have answers to Glaive Rush Boy. Did we talk about, sorry, because I, I this is our second filming, so we didn't talk about how the homies supported us making the Slowbro Torkoal team. I don't know who the two of you were, but I appreciate y'all. And we're going to have to see what they do. Hmm, so this is actually kind of why I wanted a uh, Swords Dance Iron Hands, because we could Terra Style. We could trick room, and then we could do other things. So I'm gonna just wild charge here. So we should see a grass terra. That's fine. Um, assuming, well, they probably do have focus ash, honestly, but like, I don't know. We'll see what they have. 
I do think that Terra styling Swellbro right now is smart. And I think their lead was also smart for dealing with Mimikyu. So they'll Shadow Ball, it will do nothing. They'll Energy Ball, it will do some, I guess. Jeez, man. They do have Sash. But I kind of feel like they don't have the ability to re uh, to reverse Trick Room, right? So, because of the threat looming here, I actually think what we want to do is this. That's what I expected. I don't know if we'll see a double protect. Okay, so cool. If that was a Life Orb Slowbro, we would just be taking that. But instead, they will do that, and then hopefully our Fire Punch takes them out. Nice. <laughs> fire Punch! Yay! We did things! <laughs> uh, I probably would have still got the KO with Wild Charge. I don't know if um, Wild Charge is neutral effective on grass, so I would need to check. You see, we didn't have to overcommit to a muck, and this is the position we're in. They did damage, man. They did damage. So we click Psychic. We click... I'm just gonna Fire Punch here because... Yeah, that makes sense. So, I think the one concern could be if they bring out, like, Mouse Hold or something. I don't quite remember if they have a Mouse Hold, but I feel like they could. They could have Clef Key if that's the caliber. Okay. Well, I mean, they're pretty much just in a big game of Click Protects over and over, so... We Psychic the hair cross. they go for double protect, we Drain Punch the backs if they should protect if they have it with that. They go for Ice Shard, it does not get the KO. Wow. Um, hmm, let's think here. Okay, well, it's not four times effective, so I guess that makes sense. Pin Missile, go. <laughs> Pin Missile, go. Good job, you got rid of Slowbro. Do you see how, like, value a freaking Life Orb Slowbro would have been there, though? Like, Life Orb Slowbro would have been KOing things left and right. But it's fine. You know, we have Covert Cloak because it would have been useful in some instances. And then Life Orb Slowbro would have ticked itself out after a lot of that, so. We Shadow Sneak. Fire Punch. Yep. GG's. Nice. <laughs> so we did things. Way nicer than trying to force Muck to be good. I mean, like, the real problem with Muck was that I got. I clicked minimize three times and was still getting hit by everything. <laughs> so, like, dude, like, dude, what are you doing? You're supposed to be avoiding hits. That's what. Minimize does. When you click it three times, you avoid a lot of hits. But not mine, apparently. No, he is the sludge boy. Whew, okay. So this is a little scary looking. 
we have Buster Scrogulus. They just have a lot of really like, like, ugh. <laughs> um, I actually like leading Torkoal a lot, if we're being honest. And I like leading this. So. We could do that. And in the back we bring... Is that okay though? Because I mean like I feel like their objective right now should be to stop me from getting Trick Room, right? And like it's kind of easy for them to do. I want to bring this. It feels important here. I just don't know if we can exactly pull this off. Like, I don't even think I brought Trick Room. I literally brought all my Pokemon that don't have Trick Room. <laughs> I didn't bring Mimikyu. They lead a Rangaroo and Flood. And we lead Torkoal and Iron Hobbies. So, like, G Wilkers, Batman. It'd be really, really nice here if. Huh. Let's click Protect. Let's Terra Style. And Fire Punch. I'm just saying, like, hear me out, okay? They might bring in Hip Howdon. They might be super trill, big bag of skills. But if we can do things. Say, yeah, damage. No. no. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay. Nice. So they gave me trick room. We click. Eruption, we click Drain Punch, I guess. I could click Fire Punch again. I like that. It does the same amount of damage. Eruption. So we'll see if they click with a Rangaroo. Um. It might move first, it doesn't. Nice. So I would imagine that Hippowdon comes out now. And Hippowdon might actually be as slow or slower than Torkoal, I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna have to check. Um, Hippowdon. Hippowdon is not as slow as Torkoal. So, we click Eruption. It looks like... Yeah, it, they're not even a sand... They're not even a sand setting Hippowdon, so... We're gonna just, like, try to put all of our effort into KOing it. Um... I don't quite know what to expect here. They're gonna have a balloon. Boy, that's fine with me. I just need to deal with this Hippowdon. That's fine. They lower the damage, I guess. The Earthquake shouldn't KO. 
the Iron Hands at least. Yeah, it'll KO Torkoal. If we can get a Drain Punch KO here, I think that just seals the game. Yeah, especially with the HP or Life Orb. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So there is not anything you can do about that if you're them. I don't know why you would give me Trick Room. I don't think that makes any sense. Um, I didn't have a way to set Trick Room on the field. So, hypo-theoretically, setting Trick Room... Yeah, I mean, it only makes sense if you really, like... If you really don't think I'm gonna protect, right? Like, I don't think setting Trick Room made sense for them to do. So nice, we get two wins with the Torkoal Slowbro team. The Dundays! <laughs> Man, let's be honest, like, that era of, uh, of The Office was wild when they had, they had the dude from Blacklist come on, and then they had Will Ferrell, well, it was, I think it was, like, they were at the same time, basically, right, but, um, that was a wild time in, in The Office. <laughs> Dundies. So the reason why we have Hydreigon on this team is because my team was struggling a lot against Indeed, Indeed the Armor Ugly. And so we can hope that this helps with that. This is a cool team. Um, it's pretty scary. It's another Oranguru. Hmm, what, what are we, what am I supposed to want to do against this, right? Like, I don't feel like they have good damage into Torkoal, so like, it's almost like, it's almost like, why not do this, right? Like, why would I not just do this? I don't know, someone, if someone needs, they can, uh, help me figure it out, but... Oh, 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 the, the one thing that could go bad is them leaving their mushroom and then just putting me to sleep, right? Which is, like, not good for me. And it's a very possible thing for them to do, I guess. So, our best lead might actually be, um, this and this. With this in the back. And I also like this just because it resists the, uh, it resists the belly bolt better. Like, we do have to be careful about them leading belly bolt, which is why I wanted to lead the mushroom. So we're gonna have to really see what happens here. They leave Flareon and Dee. So, I'm assuming that means that they have Flash Fire. Okay. So, if they have Flash Fire... We click Earth Power here, and we click Snarl. Okay. That sucks.
Hmm. So I guess I could have protected to like scout that or something, but um, hmm. I still think I might want to just go for it. I just don't know if the damage reduction will be enough is the problem. Like, they're gonna do whatever that is. Hmm. Okay. I, I mean, like, I'm just, a, I'm too scared of the flash fire. Because, like, that's really what I would imagine that Flareon would have, right? So at this point, I probably could. Ugly, ugly. They do have guts. Why didn't... It I mean, we have to just do this. I could have taken that turn to reposition, I guess. What a weird game. And, like, admittedly, I haven't been playing it perfectly, but, like... I think what we're gonna have to do is probably protect and then switch out Torkoal for Amoogus. So, switching Amoogus... If they have Breaking Swipe, that might just be GG's, but I do have Fairy Terror as well. question is does the psychic train go away I'm doubting it yeah um so I just don't exactly see why I would tear right now like, it doesn't get us anywhere. Um... I could Terra this just because it could be unexpected, right? Um... But then all the damage goes into Iron Hands, right? And I don't know if it can handle that. Um... It feels like the only way I win is the problem. So, assuming that maybe Iron Hands can live this, you know what I'm saying? We might have a shot. Sunlight will go away. We can double protect next turn.
it would have been really nice to get that KO there. Um, I think what we have to do right is we double protect, and then they bring out whatever they have in the back, and they win. So we double protect. They might be choice banded. So if that's the case, we basically just need to make sure that we get rid of the other slot, right? But I just don't really see us having the time to do that, if that makes sense. The time nor ability. Like, yeah, cool, we have a, we have a, hmm. Buster Scrugulous. If we get a double protect and a snarl here, can we win this? I'm gonna say probably not. We do get a double protect though. Okay, well, we're trying. <laughs> like, I'm trying my hardest, believe me. Yeah, we see. So, not ultra high hopes here from our friend Torkoal, especially with a life or belly bolt. I think that's probably about as bad as it gets. Um, yeah, because I mean like, we do know that we can just go for the earth power, right? Like, but... Can we just go for Earth Power? Like, am I okay just risking the miss? Yeah, well, because they get a crit, so it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? Like, that was a crazy game. I kind of want to play another one, honestly, after that. Like, <laughs> kind of want to play another one. Man, I'm, I want to think, like, what could we have done, right? So... Was there turns... There was the turn where they, like, double-targeted the, the Torkoal, and then I switched out, and then they got a KO, right? Um, so I could have protected there. Uh, of course. So we got... I mean, we probably lead... Iron Hands and Slowbro, in this case. With... Torkoal... And... Our own Amoongus could be good, of course. Um, what would be all in all best? Maybe... Mimikyu? I feel like I haven't really used Mimikyu at all on this team, and like, Mimikyu's a good Pokemon. But what it also means is that we could potentially switch the Mimi slot for something that gives the team more versatility.
So pretty standard idea here. We fake out, we terra style, we trick room. If they have trick room in prison, that stops us of course. But we shall have to see what they do. I highly doubt they have covert cloak iron moth, I'll say that. They do protect the moth, which I think is smart. We fake out them. Let's see if they have imprison or trick room. They click Deagling, okay. So the Deagling it's um I feel like there's a chance that they do have sash, but I also feel like it's okay for us to split our damage. I probably should have not split my damage. We will do that though, which is good. Won't KO, I'm assuming. Yeah. The wild charge will take them down to Sash. And then at this point, we will speed tie the Amoongus. They reverse the trick room, so that's actually good for me. So at this point, I click Fire Punch into the Amoongus, and then I click Psychic here, I guess. Draw Amoongus, which is smart. Send out King Gambit. King Gambit will take a Fire Punch. They use Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball does some. It lowers my special defense, which is rude. We Fire Punch King Gambit. A burn would be nice. Psychic. Okay. So we're not in like a crazy good position, but we're in a position, you know? They bring back the Iron Ball. So they're definitely not in a bad position here. Um, we do have Mimi in the back, which is pretty dope. But I don't necessarily think it gets us that far. So I am going to try to trick him again because I can. But I would imagine that they have ways to get around this, right? Like, you should more than likely... Hmm. I mean, if you take out... If you don't take out Slowbro this turn, I think I win, right? Like, I think that's what it comes down to, is if you don't KO Slowbro this turn, we should win. But I would imagine that they try to KO Slowbro. And they get a crit, dude, come on. You know what sucks about that too is like I can't even bring this out, right? Like I can't even bring Torkoal out right now because they're just gonna try to spore me.
I think my only chance here is to do this. But it probably doesn't win us the game. Well, that can win us the game, so... We set up Trick Room. We finally have Torkoal in the position it wants to be in. I don't know why you withdraw Amoongus there, because... Torkoal is the slow boy. And we click Eruption. And... Shadow Claw. Like, I feel like the question you ask yourself if you're them is like, can Amoongus win this? <laughs> can Amoongus win this on its own? You probably have to double protect the moth though, don't you? I also think that Eruption should still KO the Amoongus at this point, so like, honestly. I'm just going to go for the eruption and the shadow. Yep, you got to do that. <laughs> the, the, the hard DC. Oh man. They were like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I mean, I just don't get the play they made. Like, there's no reason you should ever switch out there. So. Not a perfect team by any shape or form, but we will take it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see what happens in the next one. So let's find that outro.